Such a nice day out today. We got the sun, it's actually warm. It's starting to feel like spring and summer. Made me think of something. It's Sunday, I have a lot of energy. I didn't have to go to work, but there's something that me and my wife, I know me and myself, I can't speak exactly for her, but I struggle with a lot. And that's having enough energy for your kid after a long day of work. This might be a problem that everyone runs into, so let's get on to the video. What the heck is going on with this Northern California weather? It looks like it wants to rain again. Yesterday when I started filming this video, this is what it looked like. And now it looks crappy, so there's no reason to be outdoors. Let's go back inside. Prior to having your first child, as parents, we all have hobbies. Golfing, surfing, knitting, hiking, bowling, swimming, whatever it may be. And you know, that tends to change a little bit when you have your first kid. That might slow down a little bit. Oh, I missed you, little girl. How school? And also, Prior to having kids, you probably had a job. And guess what? That doesn't go away. You still have to do that. So this is something I really struggled with because I'd go to work, you know, eight to five, eight to six or whatever, and I'd come home and I'd be all out of energy. But guess what? My daughter was not out of energy. She still had a lot of energy. Look at her, here she comes. As noted now, I just got home from work. She just got out of school. And what do you want to do? And she's ready to play. This is something I really struggled with. You have to have the energy for your kids. And they don't care. They don't care if you had a bad day or you had a long day. They want to play and they have high energy. And that's something that's very hard for me to deal with. But it's fun, huh, Mama? And for any of you that thinks it gets easier as they get older, no. They get more energy, more playful, and more ideas of what they think is fun. So it actually gets a little bit harder. But honestly, you learn to adapt, and I've had to learn to adapt because I struggled with this. But I watched my videos from a year ago, two years ago, and I got to see her grow in those videos, and I realized that if I didn't make a change, I would miss all that. And I'm actually enjoying this phase so much. Now, I'm sure there's some of you thinking, there's no way this is harder than when they're infants and they don't sleep through the night. And honestly, you might be right. It's been a while for me since I've dealt with that, so I can't really speak about that. So let me know below, how have you dealt with this, and have you had to deal with this? As always, thank you guys for watching. Ooh.